So I'll be sitting. I'll s okay, so I'll put you guys. Okay, so I'll be setting up a, a trap. Man, how do I say this? A few moments later. Yo guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to fit a rear bumper diffuser as well as some spoon mirrors. Okay, I'll be fitting this on a friend of mine's car. The car is a 160i EG, so similar shape to mine, also known as EG8. Okay guys, so this is uh, the 160i. It already has the bumper cut, like mine. And this is the rear bottom or the rear bumper diffuser. And the spoon mirrors. Replica spoon mirrors. Same like mine as well. Let me show you guys. <laughs> Charging on uh, the wiring over here. It seems like these spoon mirrors are um, not manual. It does seem like it's electric. This is a better look at the spoon mirrors. Comes with the mirror as well as the base plate. Okay, so what you want to do, guys, is that you want to find the center and then just make a little mark over here. And what I did with the refuser was. The gap between this and made a little mark in the center. And just take the diffuser and then you mark it up with a little marker that you made in the center. After that, just use some tape, tape it down, and then make the marks. I'll set you guys up on a on the time lapse. So there's two ways of doing this. You can either use a grinder or a drill. Um, when I did my car, I used a drill. So I'll just show you guys. Uh, so you can use the grinder to grind the circle out. But when I did my car, I used the drill bit. And then I basically created the circle using the drill bit. Okay, so you can use any method. Uh, this line over here is obviously a small hole so I'll start off with this hole and then I'll just make the hole bigger and bigger as I continue I'll just show you on my car quickly what I'm talking about so basically over here you can see that the hole needs to be much bigger The circle does not also have to be perfect as the diffuser creates a perfect oval hole.
like to thank you guys for for watching the video. I'd like you guys to um, to like and subscribe, and just maybe comment as to what you guys would like to see me do next. I do know that uh, the refuse I just did now was a friend of mine. I unfortunately lost a lot of my content on my car. However, um, going forward, I will be creating content using my own vehicle as I do as some of the videos still. I'll just add some in between vlogs explaining how I got to this point. If you guys do not know what my car looks like, please do follow me on Instagram. It's Wong uh, underscore free to track. Okay, so there is a few videos there as well as to um, how I got to this point. Mm, I'm mainly my my vlogs or my car videos or my build trip it's, it's mainly been on Instagram so I'm just um, trying to do the transfer from Instagram over to YouTube so I hope you enjoyed uh, my video I hope it was uh, educating <laughs> or how can I say maybe it was something that you would like to do to your car as well also just like to mention to guys that are in the Cape Town area uh, I will be doing more of these mods um, so if you would like me to help you uh, feel free to contact me uh, DM me maybe on Instagram etc once again thanks for watching my videos uh, see you guys next time